kitten. Hey, sorry. Didn't mean to startle you. You doing okay? I heard you get up. No, don't worry about it. I was kind of in and out of sleep anyway. Can't sleep, love? I figured. Well, because I know how you are. And the only reason you ever come out to the living room at 3 a.m. is if you can't sleep. Plus, I figured you might be feeling anxious about tomorrow. You can admit it. It's okay. I'm anxious too. We can lie to ourselves all we want and pretend it's not a big deal, but... Baby, we're getting married tomorrow. It's a huge freaking deal. Come here. I know your mind is probably in a million different places, but I just want you to remember one thing. No matter what happens, whether everything goes off without a hitch or we have a few bumps in the road, I'm just looking forward to calling you my wife. Nothing is more important than that. You want to try going back to bed? No, I get it, pet. Sometimes forcing yourself to try to sleep just makes it worse. Here. Come snuggle with me on the couch. You're so sweet, kitten. Of course you can sit in my lap. (sighs) Yeah. There you go. Just try to relax, sweet girl. I've got you. Want me to keep talking? I can try to distract that racing mind of yours. Tell you a story. What kind of story, princess? A bedtime story. Hmm. Oh, (laughs) I've got one. Remember when we first met? Yeah, I like that story too. That first night when the universe brought us together. Hmm? Oh, I have to start with Once Upon a Time? You're so silly, kitten. Okay, okay. Once upon a time, a clumsy young woman injured herself at work. No, Lucy, I swear, I'm fine. The cut isn't even that big. They just wanted me to get it looked at just in case. I'm not downplaying it. It's really not a big deal. Well, what would you like me to tell you? That I'm dying of blood loss? No, I don't need you to come take me home. I'm fine. Lucy, the nurse is here. I have to go. Yes, I'll keep you updated. Okay. Bye. Sorry, my best friend is kind of a worrywart. Yeah, I'm doing fine, all things considered. The doctor said I need stitches? Oh, okay. I didn't think it was that serious. The cut's not even that big, it's just bleeding a lot. Yeah, that makes sense. Better safe than sorry. I was at work, and they needed me to open the new boxes of inventory, and I accidentally sliced my hand open with the box cutter. Honestly, that's pretty par for the course for me. I always find a way to get myself injured no matter what situation I'm in. I just need to permanently bubble wrap myself. (laughs) True. At least I can find the humor in it. I can use that to hide my disappointment over having ruined my chances of ever being a hand model. All my hopes and dreams completely crushed. I guess I'll be stuck working retail for the rest of my life. Sorry.
I make jokes when I'm nervous. Yeah, I've never gotten stitches before, and needles aren't my favorite thing. Oh, you don't mind if I keep talking? Thank you. That's really sweet. I'm glad you're the one doing it. You really seem to care. Not every nurse is that considerate. Exactly. It's like, if you don't care about the people you're supposed to be helping, then what's the point? That's like some of the people I work with at the store. They're automatically so rude to the customers, and it makes me so mad. Yeah, some of them can be nasty, but most of them are just trying to buy what they need and go. See, you get it. Be the solution. Don't add to the problem. Has it been really crazy here tonight? I figured. The waiting room was packed when I got here. You've already been here for ten hours? God! How much longer do you have left? Only two. Well, at least that's not so bad. But I definitely don't envy you. I'm amazed you still have so much patience after that long. I would have snapped by hour four. Yeah, I suppose you get used to it. No, you don't look like a worn-down mess. Honestly? And hopefully I'm not weird for saying this. You're very pretty. I'm serious. When people look nice, I like to make sure they know. You're so welcome. Oh, all done? Wow, that was much easier than I expected. Thank you. You're very sweet for distracting me. All right, that sounds good. Oh, thank you, again. Okay, ladies. Margarita pizza. Now girls' night can officially commence. Lucy, I'm fine. I've got it. Ugh, fine. Here. You worry way too much. Yeah, it's definitely healing up quickly. I get the stitches taken out next week. Maybe then this one will finally stop panicking about my every move. I'm just messing with you. I know you do it out of love. Hey, Sarah, didn't you say you were bringing another friend with you tonight? Oh, she's on her way. Cool. Why are you all looking at each other like that? Like that. Smirking and giggling. You're like the least subtle people to ever exist. What's going on? You didn't just invite her for girls' night? Sarah, what's going on? What did you do? <sighs> You're trying to set me up with her, aren't you? No, I'm not mad. It's just... I keep telling you guys I'm not ready to date again. I know it's been almost eight months, but... Oh, God, that's her, isn't it? Shit, shit, shit. I... Oh. Hi. Oh, my God, it's you. You were the nurse who stitched up my hand. Um, you probably don't remember me, but... Oh, you do. Well, it's nice to meet you. Again. <laughs> Uh, come in. Make yourself comfortable. Can I get you something to drink? A glass of wine, maybe? Of course. Sarah. Have I mentioned lately how much I appreciate you? Bye, you guys. Drive safe. 
<sighs> that was fun. I always enjoy spending time with them. Oh, you can definitely stay longer if you want. We all had quite a bit to drink anyway. I'd rather make sure you're safe to drive home. Can I get you some water? Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. I ended up going back into work the next day. My co-workers were very impressed with my battle wound. But no one will let me use the box cutter anymore. Can't for the life of me figure out why. Here you go. I hopefully won't be in that job too much longer anyway. I only took it on for some extra income while I went back to school. Once I graduate in the spring, I plan on being free from all things retail. Writing and journalism. I want to go into publishing someday. Yeah, it's been a dream of mine for a while. Uh, what made you want to go into nursing? What made you want to go into nursing? Oh, you just wanted to help people and make them feel safe and comfortable. Well, you're definitely succeeding if you treat all your patients the way you treated me the other night. I know, right? How funny is it that we ended up meeting each other before knowing we had a friend in common? The universe works in mysterious ways. Did, um, did Sarah tell you why she invited you to come? She said she thought you and I would hit it off? Well, I mean, to her credit, she wasn't wrong. Yeah, they've all been pushing me to get back into the dating scene. I just haven't felt ready. My last relationship ended in kind of a bad way. And it's taken me a while to get over it. You too? Oh my god. I'm so sorry. You definitely don't deserve someone like that. I mean, no one does, but especially not someone as sweet as you. I'm really glad you got out of it. You deserve so much better. Me? Oh, no, I don't mind. She cheated on me with multiple other people. When I asked her why, she just said that she wasn't happy with our relationship dynamic. Why she couldn't have just talked to me about it instead of going around behind my back, I don't know. Well, because I naturally tended to take on a more dominant role, while she preferred, at least she said she preferred, to be more submissive. Which, for the record, isn't a necessity if we, I mean, this, uh, like, assuming that you would be interested in, um, Sorry. I swear I'm not usually this awkward. I'll be honest. When I said you were pretty, I wasn't just saying that to be nice. I really think you're beautiful. And it seems like you have the personality to match. Oh god, okay. No more wine for me. I'm getting a little too bold. You feel the same way about me? 
that makes me really happy. Oh. You need to admit something. Okay. <laughs> you like to be sweet and submissive, but you also have a bratty side? Okay. I need to ask, and you can totally say no. I don't want to pressure you. But... Can I kiss you? <sighs> that was really nice. Um, just out of curiosity. What do you like to be called? Like, as far as pet names. Kitten. I love that. It suits you. Oh, um... I've... kind of grown attached to, um... Mistress. God, it sounds even better coming out of your mouth. <sighs> I really think this could be the start of a wonderful thing, kitten. 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 Hey, sweet girl. How about we go back to bed? You can sleep, Angel. You were just asleep. Not very long. Like, Ten minutes. Come on. Lean against me. I'll help you walk. There we go. Just lay down. And close your eyes. I love you, my good girl. <laughs>